few towns are dominated by a giant rock in the middle of it the way that Morro Bay is. Now the 576 foot wonder peers out at you from wherever you stand in this central coastal California town. And even when you leave, you can still see Morro Rock down the way as far away as six to 10 miles. And it got me thinking, where is the best place to photograph the rock anyway? And how many different places could you go to to get the most photo worthy shot? Well, for the answer, I turned once again to the local Morro Bay photographer, Ginger Denunzio, who agreed to point them out and show us each one for today's episode. I love the rock. I, in fact, I call it Her Majesty the Rock. Um, I have my favorite spots. So let's run them down. You want me to tell you all my secrets? I want to tell you, yeah, tell us all your secrets from south to north. Okay. Montana de Oro State Park, which is in Los Osos. In Los Osos, just around, the, it. yeah. it's just around the bay. It lets you look back at the rock. The museum, the top of the museum. So it gives you a really wide view of the water which I really like. I find it very calming. Uh, it's incredible at sunset. It's also stunning at sunrise. We have a beautiful view at the Inn at Morro Bay. You can access um, public zone at the very bottom where you have a pretty spectacular view with fishing boats or just yachts mm -hmm. um, and some little residential areas. And below the Inn at Morro Bay is a spot called Windy Cove. Now this is tide dependent because if it's low tide, it's pretty schmeggy. But when the tide comes in, it's stunning, especially at sunset. Black okay, hill. so Black Hill is near the golf course at the top of the hill. It's at the top of the hill. Yes. You can drive a pretty decent way up or you can walk from the bottom. It's about an hour and a half round trip. It is fairly steep in some places. Um, but you can drive to the top and then walk sort of 15 minutes to the very top. But my special favor is don't just, just walk five minutes and there's a great view right there. And you can have these incredible trees framing the rock. Yeah, and you have the whole town. And the and, town. And, 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 yeah. and, the, and the rock. Uh, and the estuary, yes. Um, the view from T Pier is fantastic. It's the main working pier downtown. That's where you see most of the otters. <laughs> you see so many otters there and they're obviously absolutely adorable. Um, sometimes it's nice if you're on the, the pedestrian walkway itself and you get the reflection of the pier in the water and then the rock behind. Other times I'll be on T Pier and I'll frame the rock with fishing boats. There's a really funny shot right here. The boat is called Cheers and there are two giant sea lions making a racket lying on it. Oh, there they are. There's a shoe hanging out of a, of a car. You see that? There's a picture for you. <laughs> That's really funny. I think, I think the one on recess is yeah. telling the others they can't get on. Coleman Park. Coleman which Park. I really like. Yeah. You go there early in the morning, early, 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 right after the sun has come up, and this beautiful reflection of the rock is just amazing. What about pulling right up to the rock? Because that's what most people do, don't they? And then they find this giant, giant slab of, of rock won't fit in their camera frame. Well, when you look up at it, it's, it's incredibly interesting graphically, the colors and the formations, but you're not going to get the whole rock in your picture if you're right at the base of it, and you'll get neck ache. <laughs> <laughs> but you could do a panorama. You could do a panorama. You could but do a great a, selfie. But there are better places. <laughs> well, the selfie is, a, you're not going to see anything. You're just going to see a little piece of the rock. You're not gonna well, see if anything. you do the wide angle selfie. Okay. <laughs> then we have a really secret spot, which I'm nervous about sharing, but I will. Thank you. Um, it's actually a really kind of ugly road. It's a Tascadero road that leads you past Morro Bay High School. At the end of it is Morro Dunes RV Park, and there is the most gobsmacking view of the rock. It's enormous, and there are these little cute sort of hillocks of dunes right in front of it. That is amazing.
Also in that same zone is a completely different view, and that is in the deep dunes, slightly closer to the rock. There are these tall grasses, and you have to sort of hike through deep sand to get there. And you can frame these amazing grasses and, and billowy dunes around the rock, but not have the enormous car park and all the people who tend to stay right at the base of the rock. You can do it a little bit differently. Is this your spot or do you keep going? Well, when I'm having a portrait session here, I'll be all over this place, yeah. but this is a great spot because you've got a fantastic view, no cars, no people. You can look this way if you like, because some people are partial to Cayucas. And it's just blissful. Moving further north from there, another great spot is called North Point. It is found off Yerba Buena uh, traffic light. And that gives you a view of the wide stretch of beach that's called Atascadero Beach that leads you to the rock. And it's kind of a distance, but there are some really cool rock formations in the foreground to make it a little bit more interesting. And then we get into sort of the tip, the southern tip of Cayucas. And Cayucas has this long stretch of road called Pacific. And at every block, there are stairs going down to the beach. So you just have to find your own stretch of beach that you like, because they're all slightly different. A lot of people who will take you out on the boat ride. You would know something about this because you go out on the boat all the time. What's the view for you of the rock like out there? I just find it so exhilarating being on the ocean and looking at the rock and just having that sense of how on earth does it stay there? You know, why has it not been eroded away? Why is it so, it's just dramatic. You know, it's real drama, the waves crashing, the shape of the rock itself. It kind of looks the same from the other side. It's just really exciting to see it surrounded by water. Ginger, thank you so much for taking us to so many of your favorite views of that big Mara rock. Favorite? Probably right here. Right here? Yeah. And why is that? Well, it's the expanse of land that leads the eye to the rock. I mean, the rock is majestic wherever it is. Yeah. I don't know. There's just something very special about this place. Okay. For more photos of Mara rock and Mara Bay, Ginger. Sandprincephotos.com. All right, check out her website. Be sure to stay tuned for more Photo Walks TV episodes. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next Photo Walk. All right, Ginger, let's take some more pictures. <laughs>